October home maintenance tips. Hi everybody, my name is Jamie House Kenworthy and I'm a real estate agent with United Real Estate Properties in Springfield. And today I want to talk to you about October home maintenance tips. Especially if you are a first time home buyer and this may be your first or second year in your home, here are a few tips to help you remember and keep up your home maintenance. So let's get to it. Clean your dryer vents. This one's a lot more serious than it sounds. Excess lint can dramatically increase the risk of fire. A key indicator of a dryer vent needing to be cleaned is if clothes aren't drying as fast as they usually do, or if it takes multiple cycles to get them completely dry. Do this yourself by prevent buildup from the get-go by emptying your lint trap every single time you use the dryer. If possible, move your dryer closer to an exterior wall. If your vent pipe is particularly long or has to sneak around corners, you are at a greater risk of a clog. Seal your outdoor surfaces. Cold temperatures and snow can cause your paint to peel, leading to moisture intrusion and wood roy. Protect your exterior surfaces by applying a stain and sealant. Do it yourself. Clean the surface first, taking care to remove any built-up ickiness between planks or in crevices using a screwdriver or putty knife. Wait at least 48 hours before sanding the surface using 8 grit sandpaper, then sweep or vacuum and apply your sealant. Store your yard furniture. The fastest way to make your outdoor furniture look faded is to leave it out in the elements. Store your grill, deck chairs, and outdoor set in a shed or garage. For a shortcut, if you don't have the storage space, invest the dur in durable covers for your furniture to protect it from snow and rain. Stow that hose. If you live where it snows, it's a good idea to drain and store your garden hose before temperatures start significantly dropping. Hoses with water in them will freeze and burst. A clever hack, unroll your hose on a down slope and then recoil it up slope so that the water drains out. You can store the hose outside in a shed or underhang if most of the water is removed, but it's best to stash it inside if possible. Next, shut off the water supply to your external faucets, then drain the line by turning the faucet on and letting the residual water drain out. For extra protection from freezing temperatures, install a foam insulator cover over each external faucet. Do a fall cleaning. Open those windows up wide and do a thorough fall cleaning of your home that includes dusting areas that don't always make the cut, like ceiling fans and ceiling corners. Wash your draperies, dust your blinds, remove your window screens, and wash the windows inside and out. Feed and seed your lawn. After a long, hot summer, your lawn could probably use a bit of extra TLC, and seeding is proven to be the most effective way to repair damage. Plus, by seeding now, before the first frost of the season, you can allow seeds to begin taking root in the soil and get a jump on spring growth. Choose a seed for your lawn that's right for your budget and your geographic region. You can complete a, a soil test, which will allow you to measure your soil's health and nutrients using a do-it-yourself kit. You'll, have to, you'll then have to prepare your lawn, lay the seeds by hand, or using a spreader and water. Inspect your gutters and downspouts. Maintaining gutters and downspouts, which direct water away from your home, can go a long way toward preventing catastrophic roof leaks, especially if you live in an older home. This is particularly important during autumn since it's prime time for those gutters to get clogged with fallen leaves and twigs. If you're comfortable shimming onto the roof, grab a ladder and have at it. Clear leaves, dirt, and pine needles from gutters and examine downspouts for damage or loose pieces. Use a hose to flush out small bits of debris and check the underside of the gutter to ensure no water leaks through. Inspect the downspouts to verify that the water is running freely through it and away from your home. Then inspect the flashing around your chimney and any openings in the roof, like skylights, for leaks. Alright, that's it for today. I hope you gained some knowledge. And if you have any questions about real estate or maintaining your home, don't hesitate to reach out. You can leave a comment down below or our personal contact info is in the description box below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell for notifications so you can watch us every Monday and Friday. Thanks for watching!